Hello and welcome to Boston Globe Today, an in-depth look at the people and stories that impact our communities. I'm Shaguna Dulo, and here's our top story. When the Alabama Supreme Court ruled that frozen embryos are children, it took the fight over reproductive rights into a whole new arena. But how does IVF work? Health reporter Felice Fryer is here to explain. Felice, for those who may not know, what exactly is IVF? The letters stand for in vitro fertilization, and it's a, a method of conceiving a child by combining an egg and a sperm in a dish, and that's what in vitro means. But the part that isn't getting as much discussion these days is really important to keep in mind what women have to go through to get to that point, and they have to have hormones injected into them and then have the eggs harvested from their bodies. So that's a grueling and expensive procedure that uh, you don't want to have to do over and over again. And that's why they create so many embryos. Now, how common is IVF uh, nationwide? It's, it's pretty common. Um, nearly 100,000 children were conceived through some form of assisted reproductive technology, most of which I think um, was IVF in the year 2021. And it's about 2.3% of births in the U.S. and 5.8% in Massachusetts. Now, the embryos that are not implanted, what becomes of them? Well, first of all, they implant only one. They try to choose the best embryo. You don't want to be, feel pressured to implant a bunch of them because then you get multiple births, which can be really dangerous mm -hmm. for mother and child. So they'll implant the best one. And the others, the doctors will look at them, and if the woman want, might want to have another child or might be, want to try again in case the first attempt doesn't work, they'll freeze them. But they don't freeze all of them. Usually a high percentage of them are, are not viable, and they are discarded. Felice, this ruling by the Alabama Supreme Court, how does it extend outwards into other states and specifically here in Massachusetts? Well, legally it doesn't. It applies only in Alabama, but it's raised alarms all across the country because it's not hard to imagine similar arguments being brought up through the, the federal courts and ending up in the U.S. Supreme Court and having the court rule on this notion that um, an embryo is a child and deserves the same protections. Health reporter Felice Fryer, thank you for joining us and giving clarity uh, to this situation. Thanks for having me. And that's our top story. For updates and breaking news, go to bostonglobe.com.